But I thought we would start with just simple things like, let's talk about Zodiac. What is the Zodiac? And the okay. Zodiac is, it's a circle, if you can imagine, of 360 degrees, okay? And it's divided into 12 sections of 30 degrees each, 12 sections. Well, pieces so, of pie, I say. Pieces of pie. And so the first one in astrology is Aries, if we Aries. talk about Aries. So okay. let's talk about some of the traits. And Aries would take place if you were born, anybody that was born between uh, March 21st and April 19th, you are an Aries. So let's talk about the traits of an Aries. Sure. Okay. Aries is the I am sign. So, so they say it's the baby of the zodiac. And, it, and they see the world from their perspective. Yeah. It's it's me, 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 me. It's really just leaning from there. And they, they really don't mean to be me, me, me. No. It's just a learning because of that. It's a personality. They're learning. It's like, I think it's a basic building blocks of the personality that you're starting with. And yeah. Aries, they say, is a sign, which is it's a fire sign. So every sign has an element associated with mm -hmm. it. So Aries is a fire sign, right? Mm -hmm. So Aries tend to, and most fire signs do, but Aries really is the one that does something. They jump into something and later say, oops. I shouldn't have done that. So they're headstrong. It rolls the head. They're oh, yeah. They're very headstrong. They're the initiators. You know, you <laughs> need something done and you have, let's say you're a little reserved. Oh, you send an Aries out there. It'll get done. Uh, it rules, uh, by, by, every, every sign is ruled by a planet, right? And Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars. And Mars is, is the, the planet, planet of war. War. Exactly. So Aries usually have no fear about anything. So, and we're talking about the sun sign. So when you're born, you're born with a whole chart here. But the first thing we look at is the sun sign because that's the most important one that we're going to look at initially. And that's where the sun was located the moment, the second you were born. So I'm, I'm zero degree Virgo, which means that the sun just entered into Virgo. Yes. And I actually think I'm a Leo, which I have four planets in Leo, but I'm zero degree Virgo. And that that really means a lot in astrology. Plus, um, cusp babies. They say cuspies. Cusp, if you're right on the cusp between one sign and another sign, you have to look. Actually, if you're reading your astrology, you really need to look at both both of them because it, you could have more of one feeling and more less of another. It's on the cusp if you're born on the cusp. I have both traits, no doubt about it. Oh, no doubt about it, James. Yeah, two phrases for signs too. Can I just we'll oh, joke about yeah, it. Two phrases. My need is to be independent and develop self-awareness. Remember Headstrong? Yeah. Um, so, and yes. And yes. There you go. Hey, there you go. Okay. That's uh, Now, the next one after that is Taurus. So you're a Taurus if you were born between April 20th and May 20th. Okay. Now, Taurus is a fixed sign, and we'll talk about what that means in a yeah, moment. Let me just, sorry, Kelly. Okay. So, uh, Kelly and I, we're both Virgos. We have all this information to give to everybody. So we're, we're trying to get it in. Um, also, like I said, I'll, I'll tell people what it rules. So, okay. so Aries rules ahead, of course. So good. So I would say, I don't know how you feel, that it's the, yeah. the weakest part of the body of that sun sign is what it rules, they, they say. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Aries, headstrong. So headaches, got to be careful. Head things. Okay. Yes. Taurus rules the throat. Continue. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. And Taurus is uh, a builder. They're the builders here. They, they, they can manifest something. They're very also uh, stubborn. They don't like change. They're, they're, uh, they like to, uh, they love beauty. Beauty is very important. Music, art. Um, it's ruled by planet Venus, which is all it's that. It's ruled by Venus. So. I always say this. I, I like this simple. So Taurus is good food, good art, and good sex. It's the most, so, it's the most physical sign of the zodiac yeah. because it's the most physical, tactile sign. A lot yeah. of Scorpios, which are really bad for Scorpios, because they get the bad, you know, reputation of the sex. Yeah. No, Scorpios think of sex, but Taurus do the sex. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and Taurus loves food, man. Love food, nice things, and so true. Careful of possessions, and like you said, they can be very careful. They get so stubborn and just so this this way. I had a producer once for the Taurus. And I gave oh. her a reading of her dead kid came through and she still didn't believe what I was doing. Uh, really? So they could be very, it's fixed. Yeah. Yeah. This way. Very fixed. That's very true. Well, the next one on our parade is Gemini. So Gemini is from May 21st to June 21st. And if you were a, Gen a Gemini, you'd be quick witted, capricious, cheerful, talkative, communicative. What else, James? Gemini's don't shut up. <laughs> 
They really but don't. Gemini rules the hands. So if you ever say Gemini, mm -hmm. speak, they'll and shoulders, shoulders, shoulders and arms. Yeah. And they'll always be moving. Um, our former president, I always noticed, it. I noticed how he was always all over the place. Yes. Off the house. But Gemini is a communication sign. So it rules writers uh, as a creative expression. So it's very much about the, um, it's interesting because they say that Gemini is a butterfly of the cosmos, where another sign that comes in, like the say, Aries or Capricorn, coming to learn a lesson, beginning, middle, and end. Gemini just touches the surface. Just they learn, they don't go in depth. So you'll never yeah. find a Gemini in depth about one subject because they learn a myriad of subjects. It's like they have a library and they have all the books, but not one, they haven't read one fully. Boy, that's very true with Gemini. Yeah. That is very true. And some people call them two faced <laughs> because they oh, have twins, twins. The twins. Yeah. Get, because it is definitely that two two in part. Yeah, there. and you'll see they often will have some sort of a mood thing, but they're really fun. They're usually very fun to be around. You know? Quick, quick witted. If they're quick, oh, quick, quick wit. Oh my gosh. Comedy. So after that, we have cancer. So if you're a cancer, oh, you were born. Gemini is ruled oh. by Mercury. Because Gemini Mercury. Is by Mercury. Mercury is all about communication. So that's why and, Gemini. and Mercury is the fastest moving planet of all of them. It just goes so fast. So the next one after this is cancer. So cancer, if you're a cancer, you were born between June 22nd and July 22nd. So if you are a cancer, it's very nurturing, it's mother, it's considerate, it's imaginative, it's sensitive, extremely sensitive. Okay, okay go ahead. <laughs> My need is to give and receive emotional warmth and security. Ruled by, ruled by the moon. By the, the moon. moon really, the phase of the moon. For Cancerians out there, you should definitely pay attention to the phase of the moon because you will notice a big emotional change more than anybody else in the zodiac because it's ruling you and it's our yeah. water. So that's it. Cancers are the crab. Okay. So yeah. um, they, they are the crab that doesn't go direct to something, it goes sideways. Sideways. <laughs> I have two people I found you cancers, and I go, oh, I didn't really care for that because I'm very direct. Wishy washy, I wish you washy. I just like. So I found that um, sweetest, softest meat on the inside, hard shell on the outside, because because it protects your sensitivity. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of empaths. A lot of empaths, a lot of mm -hmm. psychics. It rules the house. Mm -hmm. It rules, uh, I think, the mother. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. All things about the home, yeah. uh, cooking. Uh, very, very nurturing, as Kelly said. Um, you rules the breasts uh, also, mm -hmm. right? and um, stomach. Yeah. So I'd be very careful of those uh, areas in the Cancerian. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, the next one on Hit Parade is Leo. So, so if you were born between July twenty third and August twenty third. I'm sorry, August 22nd, you would be, so yeah. you are at zero degrees. I'm that's right. Virgo. You're, I mean, when I that's about, true. I was Leo, but then I'm going to begin Virgo. And, and Leos are enthusiastic. They're, they can be arrogant. They're very proud. They're very loud. They um, get things done. They have very passion. They're very passionate. Yeah, yes. Performers. Key phrase. Key, key, yes, performers, rules for performance. Uh, mm -hmm. My phrase is, my need is to be creatively, to creatively express myself and be appreciated by others. Well, by the sun, the largest we have in the heavenly bodies, right? Right. And so that's why they will, this uh, Hollywood, you know, not performing, the sun, the spotlight, they need the spotlight. Right. And um, it's just, it's an amazing thing about the Leos because Leo rules the hair to main, right? Yep. Kelly, love Leo. Um, I have four plants in Leo. My Mercury, which is communication, is in the sign of Leo in Western. And, and without that, I don't think I could do stage things. I, I, I'd be very, the Virgo can be very shy. And I think a lot of that Leo helps me definitely get the word out, write books, has to, because otherwise I wouldn't want to do it. I mean, I'd be too shy to do it. But Leo you gets would, out. There. Leo pushes you out, and Leo, I'm a Leo rising, and you can always spot one again. But usually, the hair has something to do with it, but it mm -hmm. will push you out because I'm actually a Virgo, which is not normally somebody that I would just get up and do this. But the the Leo okay. gets you going. Me, oh, yes. Leo. It also, and also, Kelly, about Leos, which I think is very interesting. I find there are two different types of Leos. So the first type is a very shy Leo. But once uh -huh. like, so they go to a party and they get to know everybody, they're comfortable, then they go, come out and they express themselves. Yeah. So that's one type, a shy Leo. But the next one is the ones that are out there already. They're, Here I am, <laughs> life of the party. So two different types of Leos. And they're yeah. very loyal. Rules the heart. 
the heart. So True. rules that heart and the most loyal, the most loyal oh. sign of the zodiac, I think, of Leo's. Yep. The problem is every sign is you know positive negatives. The problem is with Leo's, they can they want everything to be perfect and they want everyone to have a good time. So they might tell little lies. Not that they need to, they're like white lies, just to make people feel better. That's very fun. Mm. <laughs> Not like the Sag. <laughs> Not like a Sag. We'll Who doesn't care? We'll, we'll go with that in a minute. I'm going to put myself different. down right down there. <laughs> okay. So Virgo, if you're a Virgo, you were born between August 23rd, like James, um, to September 22nd. So let's yeah. talk about Virgo, shall yes, we? Our phrase is, uh, my need is to analyze, discriminate, and function yeah. efficiently. It's ruled by Mercury. Remember Mercury, quick, quick, quick communication. Yeah. So it is all about dissemination of information, dissemination of the world around them. Everything's got to be in order. So that, and mm -hmm. I was married to a double Virgo, so I know regimentation is very important. Um, ruled by the intestines. So it's interesting that that taking the food in, and that's just, that really is how it takes the food and puts it where it belongs. It, it's, it's, yeah. You know, it, it is to uh, discriminate the food and efficiently digest the food. So there's a compartment here, and that's really what happens, the intestines. So, Virgos tend to have um, ulcers sometimes. Mm -hmm. I've had an ulcer. Um, we have problems with digestion sometimes. Mm -hmm. There's some al allergies there. But it's all about this, yeah, discrimination for sure. Yes. You find a lot of uh, nurses and doctors uh, and final healers. Final service. Final service. A service to humanity. Mm -hmm. Service for humanity, Virgos. I always mm -hmm. control Virgos. Healers. Rules healers. Right. And, yeah, and it sure very, does. Very, the, the humility is there. Really, they can teach other about humility for sure. Yeah, it's very well, it's an earth sign. So yeah, they're very yeah, grounded. Earth. You know, they have it. to they have to come and help. They have to help in this life. Yeah, very much so. So if you are a Libra, you were born between September 23rd and October 23rd. That's exactly right. And the key phrase for Libra, which is ruled by the planet Venus, mm -hmm. and it's about love and beauty and art. So Libra rules art and beauty oh, yeah. and color. And mama, I can't go out now. I gotta I gotta work. Mama, I <laughs> Libra key phrase is my need, my need to cooperate with others and create beauty, balance, and harmony. Because Libra is about the scales, about justice and legal, oh. services, legal stuff, lawyers, so forth. Mm -hmm. And um, Libra tends to see um, the hue of colors, the value of colors, in, in a very different way than most other signs. They say it's deeper. Rules designers. Libra yeah. tends to buy a lot of clothes. That's something. It rules like clothing and. They, they tend to buy like collect clothing and everything's got to be aesthetically proper for them. Mm. Um, they're also, you know, is it the um, iron fist and velvet glove? Yeah. <laughs> That's really what Libras are. They'll get everything they want because they'll smile yeah. their way through it. Yeah. And it goes the music world, of course, and um, modeling and beauty. Yeah. Beauty. beauty. That's Libra. true. The one thing about Libra, which is kind of interesting too, if you know about Libra, they cannot make up their minds. Yeah. Procrastination is number one because they want everything to be in balance and, and nothing really is in balance in this world. It's hard to find balance. So instead of making a choice or decision, they just, I'd rather not, I'll wait on that. That's Libra. Yeah. Oh and my gosh. Rose kidneys. Libra's kidneys. So she drink a lot of water if you're a Libra. Mm. It takes the toxins away. Mm. Wow. That's a good one to know. Yeah. Scorpio. If you huh. are, were born between October 24th, and November 22nd, you would be a Scorpio. And my key phrase is, <laughs> my need is uh, for deep involvements and intense transformation. Yeah. Well, by Pluto, mm -hmm. and it also rules death, rules mediumship. And I always say they get a bad rap, Scorpios, because mm -hmm. I think it could be the highest spiritual sign of the zodiac or the lowest, right? It, and, either um, one. And because it's hidden, it's got a hidden aspect. It, it's hidden. And they're very good Scorpios at, at finding other people, ferreting out other people's information, naturally, mm -hmm. but they're terrible at giving out their own because they're hidden. They don't want to share. Yeah. Yeah. That's so but, true. And they, they're also so intense. I mean, it really is intense. Sign. I heard Kelly that um, a Scorpio has all the positive traits and negative traits of every other sign plus their own. Mm. So that's why it's so intense, such an intense sign. Well, that and, makes a lot of sense. And natural detectives, they've got to find out mm -hmm. where everything is, what's this about, what's that about. So, Naturally yeah. curious. So, and yeah. Scorpio rules reproductive area. So again, that's why building sex, sex, sex. It rules doesn't mean they, they they think about it. Don't do it necessarily. So they got to be careful of that area. It's, it's the weakest part of the body. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
And uh, if you are a Capricorn, oh, I'm sorry, if you're a Sagittarius, if you were born between November 23rd and December 21st, then you would be a Sagittarius. So let's talk about Sagittarius. <laughs> my key phrase is, yes. uh, my key phrase is, and I have this whole my school, uh, is to expand the horizons of my mind and world, world by Jupiter. And isn't that interesting, Sagittarius. So yeah. Sag has what I call foot and mouth disease. Yeah. They just say, they, yeah. they think it, it comes out. It comes right out. I was once doing a work, this is a story I want to tell you. I was doing a workshop and it was somewhere in Chicago, I think. <laughs> it was a mediumship and it was class and this large girl, which I didn't really notice until somebody said something. She was giving a reading and doing yeah. evidential you know, demonstration. And um, so the, the audience member was uh, giving her information. I said, no, 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 don't don't feed the medium. I said, look at her. You think she needs to eat something? <laughs> and I was making a joke. And it was like, my friend said, do you know what you just said? I said, no, I was just joking. It wasn't, and it wasn't what I meant to say it. That came out the wrong way. That's typical Sagittarius. And I'm Sagittarius. Moon. So of course, I felt guilty and invited her to my whole term of classes I was doing at Omega Institute for free. Because I, I didn't get it. She said, oh, I didn't even notice that. She's, you know, oh. Really short. I didn't notice me short, you know. Oh, <laughs> Sagittarius. We'll get you in trouble. It rules sciatica, Sagittarius. Oh. It's like, of course, half horse, half man. Yeah. And um, also Sagittarius rules teachers. And teachers, mm -hmm. ministers. Philosophers. Uh, philosophers. And psychotherapists, Kelly? Yep, psychotherapists. Yeah, um, ministers, religious people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yep. And um, libraries. Um, it's 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 a book. It's a knowledge. It's a teacher. It's a counselor. Yep. Um, so here I am. I my moon is in Sagittarius. The so moon rules your emotions. So it's not to say you act. The moon is your emotions. We're gonna get into that in a second. So my my sad moon. So I I um, help people. Right. I counsel people about their emotions. Yes. Sagittarius. Moon. Yes. Yes. Okay. You yep, have that Sagittarius moon. Will do that. Um, Sagittarius are fascinating too. They travel a lot. They like to go. They, they like travel. to travel. They like to learn. It's they fun like to travel to with one. Yeah. Ron Oyer is a, Ron Oyer is a Sagittarius. <laughs> Typical Sagittarius. <laughs> and, you know, Sagittarians have had, so it, have had it. I mean, when I, I, yeah. I have so many Sagittarius friends. Like, enough, ready, goodbye. Next, on to the next thing. They have no, no patience. Things. I mean, That's so true. <laughs> That's <laughs> so true. But Ron had a lot of patience. Ron's had a patience of Job. Ron, he's <laughs> really Saint Ron. You call him Saint Ron. <laughs> I miss traveling with him. <laughs> he was so fun. Esther Hicks, yeah, he does all of Esther Hicks. So we put that on hold now, Esther Hicks work. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So you are a Capricorn if you were born December 22nd to January 19th. You are a Capricorn. And Capricorns, James, how would you describe uh, a Capricorn? My, well, my key phrase is um, my need is for structure, organization, and social accomplishment. I rule the knees. By the way, and bones is Capricorn. So that's the weakest part of the body, knees, bones. Mm. I know Capricorn rising. Um, I find that Capricorns are the hoarders. Um, not in a bad way, but if they mm. drive by and they see something on the curve, I'll be able to use that one day. So it's a sign that uses things, holds yeah. on to things, because yeah. they get very utilitarian. They can use something later on. So they gather things that so they can use mm -hmm. it, perform later on, construct mm -hmm. something. They make things that are nothing. They'll, they'll make things. They are steady. And their pace and go by the mountain yeah. goat and just jumps from beach <laughs> one side of the mountain goat. And they'll get with it this tenacious, tenacious people are married tenacious. They'll get what they want, but it takes time, but they'll they don't mind doing the hard work to get it done. Capricorn. That's very true. They will definitely do the hard work to do They're it. Very organized people. Very, very yeah. Organized. Yeah, that is the truth. They are uh they very father oriented yeah. too, very male father oriented. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's, and just isn't it funny, cancer is female, cancer's mm -hmm. mother. And Capricorn yeah. is and that's those drops of signs. That's interesting. Yeah, interesting. Um, okay, you are an Aquarius if you were born between January 20th and February 18th. And Aquarius is fascinating on every level. On oh, many levels. Okay. My need for Aquarius, my key phrase is to be innovative, original, and to create social change. Mm -hmm. We're like Uranus, planet Uranus. And um, scientists, inventors, yep. right? Uh, mm -hmm. I think the internet must be, has to be. Uh, Got to be. Has to be. Mm -hmm. well, it's, Aquarians are, uh, Abraham Lincoln was an Aquarian. Aquarians are the, um, they think people, the water bearer, but it's just, that's, it's not, it's an air sign. Right. Aquarians. Mm -hmm. And um, rules of circulation system. So be careful, circulation yes. system. Mm -hmm. And they're uh, liberal. They're they can make change. 
they make change. They go, but they mm-hmm. show, show, they put the light out and show people the way. That's what they yeah. do. Yeah. They show people the way. And um, it's the most this is an interesting one. It's the most independent sign of the zodiac. Oh. So if you went to the Aquarius, True. forget about it. You need, they need their own space and their own time. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Mm-hmm. So um, they need their own space. The Sagittarius is the second most independent sign. They need their space. Mm-hmm. The Aquarius is really, um, an Aquarius, as I call the the ice mold, the, ice, the icicle, in that it's true. they're going to be the most gregarious sign there is of people. They're great with gregarious, gregarious Aquarius, very good people. But when they're not into them, it's cold chill. Oh. It's freeze. Cold yeah. emotion, nothing. Um. It's weird. <laughs> It's very strange. Very strange. Very I've strange. been on both sides of that one. Yeah. I've been on both sides of that one too. Yeah. It's mm. and all signs have the positive and the negative. So we're not just picking on Aquarius. And then we're in fact we're really in the age of Aquarius. We've just begun the age of Aquarius here. My baby girl to go piddle if she, or she's gonna let her out the door. Can you just Okay. Finish, just I'll, yeah, I'll just finish it. You're gonna take her? Okay. Just for a oh, second. I'm not okay. The go ahead, Maisie. It's okay. Um so yeah. and the we're the last now. one. The last one in the Zodiac is the Pisces. And Pisces, you're a Pisces if you were born February 19th to March 20th. And Pisces are, they're very I, sweet. My key phrase is. It, my, yeah, what's your key phrase? My need, well, is a good one. My need is to commit myself to a dream or ideal and work yeah. toward its realizations new by, uh, ruled by Neptune. Mm-hmm. And it's the sign Pisces rules the feet. So yeah. they say it's also psychic, rules psychics. Or medium should mm-hmm. be ruled by Scorpios. They say that um, Pisces is a psychic sign because the feet pick up all the vibrations of the earth and everybody else. That's what they say. So yeah. always got to be very, very careful because the dream might, their heads are in the clouds sometimes. Yeah. And it's often to be out there. So they got to be very careful of addictions. They're really addictions. Mm-hmm. And they're, they're really, it hurts them because they need, I think it grounds them in some way, I, I guess, but it's 